So what documentation do you need? Some of the documentation is here. You need to have terms of business in place. You'll need an operational operations manual. You'll need a mission and a vision statement. You'll need a business plan, for example, because you need to know how much money you're going to earn in your business in order for it to be viable as well. You'll also need insurance. And this is one organization uh, that does insurance. It's called jmginsurance.co.uk. You'll need to ensure that you've got the relevant cover, which is uh, 5 million. For example, uh, sometimes the contract may say 2 million, but I've always gone with 5 million because you never know what contract you're going to be applying for. And my insurance was also that I applied for was 10 million because I wanted to to be a premium supplier as well. Okay, so you need to think about employer's liability, professional indemnity and public liability. Although you may have nurses that have got uh, professional indemnity, you still need to have that even though you are an organization because you are supplying staff under your organization's you know um, stature structure not not the self-employed contractor for example you have got a contract with the supplier sorry with the buyer so you must have the relevant insurance in place and they'll also tell you what insurance that you need to have 